There it is. That's Goku's house. Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi-Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi-Chi. I'm pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha! How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh no, that's not good! All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in! Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, Sixteen, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giraud tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. 
I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> Of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Um... Trunks? Yeah? I will not let the androids destroy this city! Huh? It's completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. It should be in this area. Let's start looking. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh. <sighs> Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. Some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine or they came here carrying it. 
Uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the Future. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the Compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Call me. I'm going to be the base. Got it. 
Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Well, Kami, please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right, I'm off. Ginger Town, huh? This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could possibly be? Well now, this could be fun. It feels weird to be reunited with my other half. But at the same time, it kind of feels right. Hmm, there aren't too many people left in or around Ginger Town. Damn that monster. I'm low on energy. This freak sooner. <laughs> huh. I can't believe Bulma was able to build it. Hey! <laughs> Come now. <laughs> Give me a break. What? Hmm. <laughs> Ah! 
Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. Look at that. You're not nearly the terrifying monster I thought you were. Impressive. Although I still have yet to achieve my perfect form. Perfect form? Inevitable. <laughs> Special Beam Kaido! Who sent you here? Who used the time machine for this? Tell me! Send me here? Why, that would be yours, truly. I came up with a plan in order to fit inside that tiny machine. All it took was for me to revert myself back into an egg. <laughs> Special Beam Cannon! Just what the hell are you? Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? 
I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giraud created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giraud again? Long ago, Dr. Giraud gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Jiro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible! We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future. And program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Trunks, what's he doing here? Ah. <sighs> He used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> Now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So flare! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? P Piccolo? Talk! 
What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him, or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Uh. Dr. Giro's computer and cell are down there somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others 
using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. The monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Goku! Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi-Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. <sighs> We're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah, but how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train, too. You're going to fight? Uh, no way! You're in no shape to fight! You need more rest! Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Eh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Though I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi-Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah, but I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! <laughs> You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait, no one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think... Vegeta and Trunks are training. Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. 
I'm guessing it might be them. <laughs> 